Maria Cahill today spent an hour outlining her concerns about the way her allegations were handled. I welcome the fact that he has been brought in very, very quickly, actually, which I believe is a vindication of the fact that um, you know, my frustration at how the court process um, evolved. It was very important to me that I met the complainants very early in the process so that I could assure them as to how I was going to conduct the review, um, engage with them and do my best to ensure they had confidence in the process. So I'm very grateful to them for taking up the time today to meet me, to share their concerns with me, and to have done so at this early stage. She claims an IRA member raped her when she was a teenager, and that other senior IRA members later investigated and covered up her alleged abuse. There was um, a hierarchy when it came to um, alleged abusers and that hierarchy came in when those abusers also had the mantle of the IRA which they could then use to doubly instill fear in their victims. She's accused the police and public prosecution service of failing to properly investigate her allegations. Three separate trials later collapsed after she and other witnesses withdrew their evidence. A man accused of rape and IRA membership and four others facing IRA charges were all acquitted. Maria Cahill says one of the reasons that happened is because it took more than four years for the cases to go to court. This review is examining whether the Public Prosecution Service was at fault. Sir Keir Starmer rejects any suggestion that it's simply a box-ticking exercise. Well, it's certainly not a box-ticking exercise. I intend to look at all the relevant material, speak to all the relevant witnesses um, and um, come up with robust findings. Justice Minister David Ford and Irish Justice Minister Francis Fitzgerald today said they haven't ruled out the possibility of a cross-border inquiry into allegations of sexual abuse by members of the IRA. Vincent Kearney, BBC Newsline.